I pose a threat to this animal. This animal poses no threat to me. We got it! G'day guys, welcome back to Lost Recovery. Today, we're down on the south coast, down in Jervis Bay. Check it out guys, it's absolutely beautiful here. Today, we're gonna to be searching for all the treasure and removing all the trash. I just spotted something really special. Apparently, you know, it's one of the deadliest snakes in the world or in Australia. No, it's not guys, it really isn't. This is a red-bellied black snake and this animal is absolutely beautiful. Snakes are a vital part of the ecosystem. They really are. They are an absolute beautiful animal. They pose no threat to humans. It's when we step on them or we go after them with a bloody shovel and try and knock them on the head. What would you do if you were a snake? I'd bite the person as well. Red-bellied black snake just there behind us. And I'm gonna go out there just in a pair of thongs. I'm gonna show you just how close I can get to this animal. And I feel absolutely no threat. Now this animal, he's gonna Huff. He's gonna puff, he's gonna flatten out his neck, he's gonna flick his tongue. He's telling me, stay away, I'm venomous, I will bite you if I have to. But I'm gonna get so close to him, you're gonna see guys, this animal is just gonna sliver away. Let's check him out, he's right there behind us. You can see it's flattening out its head, it's flicking its tongue. That is a warning to say, stay away. I am venomous, leave me alone. Beautiful animal, you can see the red down the, down the flanks. I can put my foot right next to him and he's not gonna wanna bite me. As long as I stay still guys, I am actually in no danger. Now you can see I'm standing still. He doesn't wanna bite. He's got every opportunity to bite me. All he wants to do is just go away. He wants to live his life and be on his way. It's about to go onto the road. I'm really close to this animal and I am in no danger. I feel no threat whatsoever. He is warning me to stay away. You can actually see he's moving away from me. I pose a threat to this animal. This animal poses no threat to me. You can see he wanted to go this way. He's gone back into the bush, away from us. All right, guys, we got treasure fine. Let's gear up and get out there. Got enough target. holiday seekers come here and I don't even know if this place has even been metal detected before but that is that's an awesome find I'm guessing that's gonna be 925 silver you can see there's a little love heart on the inside there that's a little beauty I've only just started about 15 20 minutes ago I found a couple of coke cans a big piece of metal I just threw up on the beach just in this location here yeah I've pulled a couple of dollars out so far and everything's looking really crusty and really old there's gold out here, I know it, guys. Let's keep going. We got another tone. It sounds good. Let's dig her. Thank you. 
Two bucks. Nice. So there's plenty of people here. I've got maybe five, six dollars in change today. That's really good considering, look at it. We're in the middle of nowhere. Got one ring so far. There's gold out here, I know it. Let's keep going. Sense. Need to chest is always best. That's what I always say when I'm hunting down the gold rings. Fresh watermelon. Mm. That's good. You want a bite? Alright guys, we've got another target. another ring I can't see any marking on there but that's got to be that's 925 silver for sure you can just see how heavily tarnished that is that's been down there forever guys that is absolutely awesome she's got some markings as well some detailing there just on the outside that's what I love finding all this old treasure more treasure out there let's find it <laughs> Keep going. Beautiful, there we go. I'm not too sure what that is. I thought it was a two dollar coin. Really not too sure. Oh, beautiful. I don't remember the last time I seen a one cent coin that thin. It's been another maybe 15, 20 minutes. Coins, that's probably what it's gonna be. All right guys, let's dig it. Five, I think. Yeah, three seven five. Beauty. Oh, that is a gold oh, ring. Man. When I first looked at it, I thought, oh, I'm not too sure. It didn't. That that must be down there for quite some time, guys. That looks old. Yeah, that's our first gold ring. I knew we we're gonna find some. I knew it. Have a look at this area. This area is massive. Beautiful gold ring. Wow. We got another target, guys. Hear this. She sounds good. Let's dig it.
check out the stone in that. Oh, that is awesome. It's another old ring. Just encrusted in all that sand and stone. Fourth ring today, I can't believe it. Leave a comment down below, how old do you think this ring is? I've always been curious. On old finds like this, how long do they have to be in the water for before they start getting heavily encrusted like this? But it is an absolute awesome find. She is a little beauty. Three silvers and a beautiful old gold. All that out of this location. We just got a call from Joel. He's lost his wedding ring just last Friday. Follow me back to Sydney and let's help Joel find his lost wedding ring. Shoot off to. Uh, I was gonna say Gregory again. <laughs> 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 